shoes on. Right then, we've found three ex-pro cyclists that we know are always up for a bit of a challenge and a bit of fun. Yeah, we've got the GCM presenters in today and well, we thought it was about time that we put them through a bit of a crash course on duathlon. Yeah, so Mark and I have set up a duathlon race for Hank, Manon and Alex and they've been told to turn up with their GCN cycling kit, their bikes, their trainers and their always up for anything attitudes. I mean, what could go wrong? All right, I think we should crack on and meet our willing volunteers. First up, we have Hank, the Energizer Bunny who's always excited for any challenge that's thrown at him. And then we have Manon, the dark horse, with a chilled attitude on the outside but some serious grit and determination on the inside. And finally, Alex, the freshest from the pro peloton. Could he be the one to threaten Hank? Cool. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Now, I know each of you at some point have mentioned you'd like to give triathlon a go. However, it's a little bit early in the season, so we're going to introduce you to a duathlon, which is the perfect intro for a cyclist into triathlon. Yeah, now to see what we've got to work with here, we thought we'd throw you straight in the deep end with an actual race. Now, we do understand, obviously, you're not complete beginners, obviously pretty good at cycling and kind of can run, right? <laughs> Mm, yeah, we're gonna find out. Yeah. yeah, it seems like we're gonna find out. I, I, I like, I like running. Yeah. I so how, how, how does this sound? Does it sound all right? It sounds amazing. I don't want to lose. I'm pretty competitive, mm -hmm. um, uh, especially up against these two. So uh, I think I've got the run in the bag. But is it? What's the uh... cycle then run? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Well, that's the second. A, is it two? Two yeah. three. Yeah. Do you do you do you athlon? So just to clarify things, it's gonna be a run, then a bike, then a run. Three, three. activities. It's three, two sports, three, three sections, activities. Can we not yeah. do a bike, a run, a bike? Because it's better. And where's the, where's the transfer? Well, you've got your trainers on. You guys look ready. OK, I think it's time to go and explain yeah, the course. Mine. Can you notice And them? then um, we're going to just let you guys find out and learn on the job. What are the distances? Yeah, and where are the transfers? Right, we'll take transfers? Oh. Transitions. Is it transitions? Transitions. Yeah, well, transfers. I haven't got my box. Have you got your box? You don't need a box. Yeah, I saw it on triathlon. All right, guys, so you just, just calm down a moment. We're at the start line, but it's going to be one lap to the run down to those cones behind you, which I pointed out earlier. Then when you get to this line, you can cross over it, go and get your bikes. You've got to do two full laps of the track, which is 3K on your bike. You must get off before that line, then rack your bike again, and then you're out onto the run for the final lap. When it comes to getting on your bike, you're not allowed on it until you're past those cones. So this is the non-cycling zone for the transition, okay? All right. Uh, beyond that, we haven't really given you much information, Nothing. which I think is no. going to be quite exciting. Uh, and then hopefully from this race, we'll be able to go ahead and do some coaching tips. I hope you have time. Yeah. Wow. Well, are you ready? <laughs> right, Three. We've got, we've got the watch on. Two. One. Let's go, guys. <laughs>
Oh. Your lungs burned from the cold. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> all right, guys. First of all, congratulations. That was awesome effort. Really impressed. Now, got some good news. Um, we are doing it once more. Thank God. Good news. <laughs> the, <laughs> the, good news. <laughs> the, the even better news, maybe for Manon and Alex, is the second race is going to be handicapped. So Manon finished a minute and 20 seconds after you, Hank. So Manon will be going a minute and 20 first, then you were 46 seconds, and then Hank, you are going a minute and 20 afterwards. So that means that whoever crosses the line first with the, the second race will be the winner and will have made the biggest improvement. So talking of improvement, that's where Mark and I are going to come in and we're going to give you some little pointers in a moment. But First of all, I know you've been chatting amongst yourselves. Did you like, pick up on area, any areas we can improve? Well, with? I know you guys have already. <laughs> how anything you've learned from watching each other? Yeah, well, I, I can just... see the other guys because they're behind. Alex, uh, Alex oh. just spent about 20 minutes putting his shoes I on. I need to practice tying my shoelace up. I think I needed my mum over there to do them for me. <laughs> I tried um, taking off my, uh, my shoes while I was riding. I thought that helped. I, I got that off YouTube. Um, and, uh, Hopefully from our channel. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and then. I forgot to take off my helmet. I don't know if I could have been disqualified. You would have been disqualified, but we're ignoring that. I today tried to go a little bit easier into the transition so that I got there, Smart. not faffing around and panicking, but I panicked anyway. <laughs> and I well, lost most of my time there. Man very on interesting. Man on, yeah, very clever. You decided to leave your running shoes on, which I probably wouldn't work for a longer race, but you obviously you took into account. Yeah, I just did it all in my trainers. Literally, I, I flew through the transition. I wonder how you were so quick. Nearly caught Alex up. I, I glanced behind on the run, saw I had a gap, came out of the transition. I heard you go, oh, Manon's nearly caught Alex. And I was like, bloody hell. Yeah, well, smart for a really short race. Um, how did it feel physically as well? Awful, uh, awful. It's an odd sensation that. going on to second run, isn't it? <laughs> Get, getting on the bike after a run felt bad enough, but then getting off the bike and running, I just, it was like having jelly legs. Yeah. yeah, well, I'm not sure we can really fix that today in such a short session, but no. we can definitely give you some tips to help you on the way. But the technicality, some of those bits of the shoes, we can definitely yeah. head we, off. We've got a few little bits and pieces as well that we might be able to lend you to speed you up on the way. So, should we go some fresh legs? Let's have a look. Yeah. Let's go. yeah, come on then. Oh, God, I can't get up. up. Oh. I need two more minutes. Right, so I thought I'd start this workshop by going through the pacing. Now, how do you think your pacing was? Terrible. It got slower. <laughs> for, for me, though, I, I need to go out fast to get a head start, and then I feel better about it. God, you started fast, didn't you? I have to, because then, then, then you guys are behind, and then I'm just like, oh, I'm winning now. How about you, Manon? Yeah, I tried to stick with them on like, the first half bad of the idea, yeah, it was a Bad idea, <laughs> that. Bad idea. How did it feel yeah. when you got onto the bike? Oh, it was dreadful. Run? Yeah. I couldn't really. I felt, I felt much better on the bike. OK. Because it's just where I'm used to. Run, I felt horrendous. I think you're an abnormality, Jet oh, Hank. Yeah. But yeah, I think most people going really hard on that first run, they get onto the bike. I paid the price for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then particularly then you get onto that final run. And that is probably one of the biggest learnings from duathlon I've learned over the years as well. It's just that first run, yes, you want to be in the mix, you want to be competitive, but keep a cap on it. So don't get too carried away because you want to jump onto the bike, to this? feel strong, and then equally again, getting onto that final run. So you can lose a lot in that in first run, run. Mm. essentially, yeah. And then another thing, and you touched on this, Alex, is actually when you're coming in off the bike, just like easing off and trying to increase your cadence towards the end of the bike because you tend to run with like a quite a high cadence and probably when you're churning out the power on the bike, lower cadence. So try and just increase that cadence is trying to get the, the legs ready and used to that, that cadence to go off the bike. So yeah. That is, mate, how do you know that? I think it's just beginner's luck. Yeah. So, so because I, I kind of take my foot off the gas, got my feet out of the pedals. Yeah, that was good. Which, yeah. is, which I've seen before, um, which put me in good stead. To watch, like, should but I? But then, but then, just like into a slightly lower gear doesn't mean you have to necessarily like come off the power massively, but just a slightly ah. higher cadence. Just gets those legs spinning, ready for that high cadence as you run off. I could see you preparing your shoes when I was just behind. Oh, that was a good idea. What did you do? I can't remember. You to had be your honest. trainers on. Yeah, I just, well, you just got on with it. And ran. Yeah, just jumped. jumped well, I think that's enough of the pacing, guys. We're going to pass over to the next stage of the workshop. Heather, she's going to talk through some of the kit specifics. All right, guys. Yeah. 
looking at transition setups. We're going to have a quick scoot through each of your setups. And this is obviously how you had it the first time. A couple of really simple things. Um, and also with the rules, you have to put your helmet on before you touch your bike or remove your bike from the racking. So. If your helmet's ready, it's best to, I'm not going to touch it yourself, but actually we have a model one here, whether that was known, oh, but Alex out. has left his helmet ready so that you would pick it up as is and it would go straight on your head. You don't have to turn it upside down, get your straps open. Straps left open, ready. That's tip number one. All right, on to shoes. Obviously, Manon, you're going to stick with trainers again this time, so... Yeah, I think so. That was pretty... It was quick. Yeah, yeah comfortable you were in and out. So I think that's Manon's transition. I'm to do the same. Transition sorted, but obviously if you guys are going for bike shoes, in the ideal situation you have tri shoes, but and you leave them on the bike with some elastics. But I don't think Alex, you can get your feet in these very easily. But we do have, if you did have some tri shoes, this is what they look like. And they've got the tabs on the back, as demonstrated by my assistant here. So yeah, a lovely single Velcro strap that you can pull open, lock open, and you'd attach those oh, with some amazing. elastics, and you keep them in a nice horizontal position, so you can put your feet on them and whiz away. Talking of the position on the bike, did you guys think about what gear you're in for the start? And yeah. are, your, are your bikes left in the correct gear? Yeah, I went in the middle of the block. I was in my little thing. ring. OK, well, obviously, you want to look at the course. You know you're going slightly uphill, so bear that in mind for our next attempt. And talking of time saving, I think Mark has actually got some elastic laces. Now, if you are going, obviously, Alex, you took quite a lot of time oh, so on slow. that transition. Mm. And I think you might be in luck here. What size are these? They are a size 46, oh, UK perfect. 11. And um, so. are they going free today? They may be going free, yeah. Oh, you watch well, there's a big advantage. Oh. I'm seeing the advantage coming here yeah. for this setup. I'm, I can be bribed with a bit of chocolate. Oh, we can sort of chocolate. Okay, out. good. Yeah. All right, well, that's okay. Um, I lost most of my time there. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the setup. So making sure everything is ready, thinking of the order, order that you're going in. If you are going into running shoes, make sure they're laid out ready for your feet to go into. Bike in the right gear. And then you just have to remember, Hank, take your helmet off. But you can't take your helmets off or under your strap until your bike is racked. Can I add one more little Please bit do. of advice here? Now, if you really want to take duathlon racing to the next level, as I'm sure you're going to after today, you can also come ready with two pairs of yes. shoes. So some people will race in a set of shoes and they'd already have a second set of shoes already, like the tongues nicely pulled out so they can slip their feet in, towel compounded up. So they're just, they're ready and raring. So they're really slick transitions. I mean, Manon's got two pairs of shoes, but the yeah. fact she's using trainers for all of it probably doesn't really no. take the advantage. It's just covered all bases just in case. <laughs> Add options. You've got backup cycling shoes. All right. Yeah. Well, I think that's pretty much everything covered. Have you guys got any questions before we Go so around for round number two. I want to know, because it's short, would I actually be, would I save save time by not changing by shoes? Not changing shoes. It depends how much power you're putting out through those legs, Hank, and whether you need the, the well, pedal. I don't think it made that. that much difference. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It is, it's a good question. I think, yeah, for a very short race like this, you, you could, it, I would look, being I, in I running I shoes. at least 30, 40 seconds. See, I and did I don't, everything right, really. And I, don't, I don't think I can gain yeah. that. I don't think I would, I would lose that. But then this the is such a good trial for your duathlon career that you're about to embark upon. Well, I mean, we have given you guys the information, the learnings. You can go now, prepare, take what you want from it, get your stuff ready and see how much quicker you can go What's for the round forfeit? number two. Forfeit. So, because we've got to have a forfeit of who the loser. You have to... Have to do a triathlon. Do an act. Yeah, do a triathlon. Uh, <laughs> Race right here on Saturday. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> the forfeit is you have to do another lap of the run. Oh, all right, God. All right, all right, we're in. Nah. Yeah, we're, we're in. in. Mama, you're, you're in. in anyway. Yeah. All right, guys, we'll leave you to get ready and we'll, we'll see you on the start it. line. <laughs> All right, guys, this is the final attempt. Are we ready? Manon's off first. Yeah. Three, two, whoa, one. Whoa, 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 whoa. I've got one more thing. I know you're really embracing this multi sport day, so I thought we'd take it one step further. I've got tri suits <laughs> for you guys. Uh, so these are optional, of course. Uh, Manon, I believe that is your one if you want to wear it. Um, unfortunately, I've got one sleeved and one sleeveless. Oh, look at those. Oh. You can have the sleeveless. Come on. I th you'll own it. You're really, you, you're, yeah, you can pull that off. Go. Oh, thanks. Look right. at this. There's nothing to it. Mark, we got no I mean, It is a cold day. It is a cold day. It's, so entirely, it's entirely optional, guys, but those marginal gains, they're there if you want them. There's no chamois, Mark. I think we've got to embrace it. No. Yeah, let's it's embrace too it. Let's come man on, come too on. Cold. Come on. <laughs> on your own. <laughs> Thank you.
All right, Manon, so you're going off first, and then we'll set these guys off according to the time. So are you ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. Right. Go, Manon! 35 seconds, yeah. Alex, yeah. till you go. Hank. One minute 20 Hank. for you, Hank. Man, I'm going to chase you down. Go on, Manon, pace it, though. Five, three, two, one, go! Go, go, go! 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Come on, Hank! Come on, Hank! Two, one, go, go! Here we go, we're off. We're off. There's man on. As Mark gave Alex a huge advantage with the elastic laces, I cycled up here, so I have given Manon a little bit of an advantage as well. We're the same size, she's got some aero gains. I did actually pace it incredibly well, I think. I did the best. Oh, Too fair. Goodness, guys. Yeah. Well done. That was Ooh. incredible. Uh, massive respect. The effort levels in that. And most impressively, you all took roughly 20 seconds off your previous time. And it's only 10 minutes in length. So I, I think that was, yeah, you, you took our coaching points on pretty well. Maybe not the pacing so much. Yeah, Hank, I would, Hank the Yeah, the pacing on that first run. I mean, you put everything into that first run to catch Alex, which knowing you, I absolutely expected. Yeah. yeah. I just <laughs> it's written all over the face. Isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely huge hats off. I think now all we need to do is add in the swim next time and make it a full triathlon. I mean all I in all I'll have you in the swim. Yeah. I think I'll have you in the swim. <laughs> Did you enjoy your it your debut? I'm not saying joy is the right word. It was very painful. Oh, it's, it, I think it's like it's it's enjoyable when it's done. Like it, like I any enjoyed. sport. Feeling a little bit of progress just in that one, like that second time we did it. I mean, and plus, I love seeing Hank in his tri suit. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh. guys, it's been so good having you along. So, thanks ever so much for being such good sports, getting involved, and also allowing us to share some duathlon tips with our viewers out there. So, I hope you guys out there have enjoyed today's video. If so, please do give it a thumbs up, give it a like, make sure you check out GCN's videos, but also give us a follow on social media and subscribe yeah. just down below. And a big well done. Thank we you. We need guys. to think of a challenge so, for you are, now. We, uh, are we part of the GCN team now for duathlon? Or have you got a way to go? I think you've taken it. You can, you can take up. it from me. There's 11 Ooh. minutes from the start. So Alex, Absolutely savage. I think it's like it's easier. <laughs>